If you're still using set channels and shift channels to create grayscale images or to pull an alpha channel from one of the color channels of an image, then you're an old school After Effects user. There's nothing wrong with being old school, but there are better plugins to use than set or shift channels. Let me show you. First, the differences between set and shift channels. Effect channel, shift channels works just on the current layer and decides where you want to take channel information from. If I want to create a grayscale image from, say, the red channel, I will use red for my red, green, and blue channels and get this grayscale as a result. If I want to go green, I'll set everybody to green. By comparison, effect channel set channels allows you to pick which layer to use for each of the red, green, blue, and alpha channel information. This means you can borrow the color information from another layer or multiple layers, but there is a better way. For example, Effect Channel Channel Combiner allows you to go ahead and pick, again, the red, green, blue, whatever channel, and use it for lightness only, giving you a grayscale. It's much easier to change, just one pop-up to go green, blue, or a number of other choices, including min RGB and max RGB. Go back to red for now. You can also use any of those channels to create the alpha channel for the layer. I've got a blue solid behind this thing. That's why you're seeing blue creep through the image, depending on what color channel I use for the alpha. Now, the one advantage set channels does have is if you have more than one layer that you want to draw information from, you can choose a different layer for each RGB and alpha channel. However, most of the time, something like channel combiner or even the calculations effect will be more than enough. So these are two you can probably retire and not bother using anymore.